My wife and I have asked a crowd of craps to come and waste their time and hours. Perhaps you'd care to join us. In a pig's arse, friend. Day comes to an end. The gas fire breathes. The trees are darkly swayed. And so, dear Warlock Williams, I'm afraid... Funny how hard it is to be alone. I could spend half my evenings, if I wanted, holding a glass of washing sherry, canted over to catch the drivel of some bitch who's read nothing but which. Just think of all the spare time that has flown straight into nothingness by being filled with forks and faces, rather than repaid under a lamp, hearing the noise of wind and looking out to see the moon thinned to an air-sharpened blade. A life, and yet how sternly it's instilled, all solitude is selfish. No one now believes the hermit with his gown and dish, talking to God, who's gone too. The big wish is to have people nice to you, which means doing it back somehow. Virtue is social. Are, then, these routines playing at goodness, like going to church? Something that bores us, something we don't do well, asking that ass about his fool research. But try to feel, because, however crudely, it shows us what should be. Too subtle, that. Too decent, too. Oh, hell. Only the young can be alone freely. The time is shorter now for company, and sitting by a lamp more often brings not peace, but other things. Beyond the light stand failure and remorse, whispering, Dear Warlock Williams, why, of course. <laughs>